hi guys it's amy welcome back to my channel today's video i am going to be doing another challenge and sorry if i am not myself today but i am having really bad time and always filming and being with you guys helps me pump up myself so i figured since i have seen a lot of this video Jacqueline Hill created it and it's the ride or die tag and I don't have a ton of makeup but I am happy with what I have at the moment I want more clearly <laughs> but I am really happy for what I have and I'm just going to show you my ride or die products from this moment um I'm going to go in you know order and I am going to link her video in the information in the in the information box in case you haven't seen it which you guys I know you have seen it because it's the real freaking deal she's amazing she's very talented and I love everything she does so let's thank you let's jump right into it product that we're going to be talking about is primer I have I don't have a primer right now because I had my Nivea Men after shave balm, but that one really really broke me out. So in, instead of that one, I am using this um Wet and Wild Photo Ready or Photo Focus Setting Spray. It's really good. It's a setting spray, but I use it as a primer and I love it. It's it makes my makeup apply so nicely and last a long time and it's very affordable and this is amazing product i am not crazy okay okay sorry you guys i am not crazy about this smell but i don't i, I really don't care your it will be foundation and i have oily skin and my favorite foundation is the l'oreal um infallible pro matte foundation is very awesome and i am in the color 106 is the one that i am using but i don't know if it's too light for me but this is an amazing foundation it lasts a long long time and it's very affordable and it's very nice i love it for concealer i wanted to include a powder foundation and that one will be my mac studio fix powder foundation i am in the color c35 i think and this is an amazing product i love it so so much and okay i'm sorry for the noises you guys <laughs> but it's crazy today but this is my favorite powder foundation i use it along i use it on top of my foundation and i don't care i love it it's my my baby <laughs> now let's jump to concealer my favorite concealer i have tried recently but you guys you don't need a color corrector with this this stuff is amazing and i have really bad under eyes as you can see but it is the Kat Von D Lacquer Concealer. This stuff is amazing. And this is just a deluxe size sample that I got at Sephora. But this, you guys, I want to get the full size when I get the chance. Because this stuff, uh, is, it has no words to be described. It is amazing and I love it so much. It covers your under eyes like a dream. It makes them feel like flawless. It's full coverage, but I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like it is thick to my skin. I really like the feeling of this concealer. So this is my holy grail concealer of all time. Like even more in love than my Maybelline H Rewind Concealer because you guys know that I love that one, but this, this one is on top of the game. My concealer, I love using this side of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring palette in the shade caramel toffee and i'm going to be talking about this yellow shade right here i have a depth in it but it's really finely milled it's very pigmented but not over pigmented 
it's very nice you guys to brighten your under eyes because i love that brightness i love my yellow skin so it's a really good powder to set my concealer with at the rest of my face you know pressed version i love the rimmel state matte powder in the shade 00 translucent this is what it looks like it's very good you guys if you have oily skin or i like I have friends that have dry skin and they use this powder and they love it too. I'm sweating. Oh god, it's really hot in here. <laughs> well, let's keep talking about this product. Um, and I love it, it's very affordable and it's really really amazing. For a loose powder version, um, I wanted to include the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. It's very finely milled. I took the cap off because it's easier for me to you know get my sponge and use it but it's very very affordable i think it's like three dollars and this stuff is amazing you have a ton of products in here and i highly recommend this one if i had any of these products for the rest of my life i will be more than happy next we're going to move on to contouring and what i love for contouring is the nyx hd blush in the color taupe I use it for my cheekbones, for my nose, for my crease. I use this stuff everywhere. I absolutely love it. It's very amazing. It's very pigmented. You can see, and it's a very cool tone color. It's very gorgeous. I love it. I don't use it as a blush, but I think some people use this as a regular blush because it is a blush. But we <laughs> we use it for contouring, you know. We want to blend our contour i love using bronzer and also to warming up my skin and i like using the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this is a, this is a newbie for me and i absolutely love this you guys it smells amazing it makes me feel happy and i love it it looks really good on my color skin tone and it i am doing this like if i had it on but i don't i don't have any makeup on you guys but this stuff is amazing this is a deluxe size sample i did a video from this product if you want it it's on my channel you can check it out i will be more than happy but this stuff is amazing it's hard for me because i am like a bronzer highlight and blush junkie i love blushes and everything that has a blush i am like i want that but my favorite favorite of all it's definitely the Milani Baked Blush in the color Berry Amor. This is like the second of or third one that I have and it's almost gone. But it is this beautiful color. It's very pigmented. It has like a nudish with a hint of gold. This one, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's incredibly pigmented and I love it. I love it so much. It like this blush, you can use it with every single makeup look that you do on your face. I am obsessed with NARS Orgasm, but I had just a sample of that one. I had like three samples and I used them up. I want a regular one that I can use, but I cannot buy that because I don't have a job right now. But with this and that one will be my perfect match for the rest of my life. And I am a blush junkie because I love blushes but you guys know the drill <laughs> i have a ton of them but my favorite is the elf baked blush in the shade fantastic this color is amazing i have used it a ton of my videos you guys have seen it this is what it looks like it's a pinky highlighter and this is the swatch look at that you guys this is like bam in your face highlight it's so pretty i absolutely recommend it to you and love it I am going to move on to my brows. Um, the brow pencil that I love using is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It's this one right here, and I don't know if you can see it, but it has a spoolie, and it's really amazing. Now, for setting my brows, I love. I need a new one, you guys. It's all done, and this is the Elf mascara clear mascara and i use both sides to my brows and this stuff is like crazy glue for your brows next i will be moving to liners 
Um, and this liner is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Liner. And this one is in the shade Nude, of course. It's beautiful and it's very, very pigmented. Let me swatch it for you. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really, really nice. And for my black pencil liner, I have this Marc Jacobs one that I got. And this stuff is amazing. I am like, look at that. I am in love with it. And for my liquid eyeliner, it's the NYC liquid eyeliner in the color black. You guys know this is my holy grail. I cannot do my liner without anything else. So these are my brows and liner products shadows but we're talking about single shadows um i don't have a ton but you guys the the color pop ones are amazing they're super affordable super easy to blend super easy to work with them i love the metallic ones you guys know they're, they're my favorites and i have a ton i have like six of them i wish i had more but this is all i got but you guys, the pigmentation in these things are real. I don't know what kind of magic they have in here, but it's really nice. And if I don't have any shadows for the rest of my life, I will be more than happy that I have this one in my collection. A eyeshadow palette. You guys, this is my favorite of all time. Sometimes I just... This is the Wet on Wild Comfort Zone, by the way. And I sometimes I just get these two shades in my lid with some bronzer on the crease, some mascara and a lip gloss, and I'm good to go. I love it. It's really, really pigmented. Like, let me show you. It's very buttery, finely. What did I just do? Okay. <laughs> very buttery, finely milled. Like, look at that. So beautiful. I love it. The colors are beautiful. It's really affordable, and you cannot beat that. And this particular palette has some dupes for Urban Decay shadows, so you might need that in your life. For falsies, I'm not a huge falsies fan because I don't know how to apply them well, but they look amazing. And one of my favorites are the Andrea Lashes. These are in this style 3, 3. It doesn't have a name, but it's the color 33. The bottom ones are new and the top ones are cut. So this is what they look like, particularly. They're really fluffy. They're really easy to well, comfortable, and very lightweight. But lightweight, but thick. You know what I mean? They're amazing. I love them. Now, one of my other favorite categories are lip products. And I wanted to include a lip liner, a lip gloss, a lipstick and a liquid lipstick so for my line lip liner my favorite one is the Jordana I I eyeliner is not eyeliner it's lip liner in the shade Tony you will also get one of these in my giveaway coming soon now for lipstick my favorite hold on let me put this aside my favorite lipstick is the Manny matte lipstick in the color matte confidence it's beautiful it's super long wearing look at that and i love my red vampy shades so this is perfect for me it has a long it has a long wear of time i love it so much and the color is great i love this smell i love everything about them now for a lip gloss my favorite is this NYX Butter Glass in the shade Angel Foot Cake. This stuff is amazing. It smells so good, you guys. Yeah, so good. Let me put some. Hmm. Like, look at that. It's very perfect for every day. And now for my favorite liquid lipstick will be Have to Cat Von D. This is in the color. Uh, and it's gorgeous it's beautiful it's let me shake it shake 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 <laughs> it's very beautiful it's very unique and it's this beautiful red right here and i love red lipsticks you guys and this stuff is amazing 
it won't move off your lips except if you eat fried chicken <laughs> it's going to go but if you're just talking and laughing you know and living your life this is perfect you guys Feel mascara but my holy grail mascara is the um maybelline lash sensational mascara you guys know that i love this one and this one is in the color blackest black and it's so beautiful it's really flimsy let me show you the one look at the one you cannot go wrong with that one i absolutely love it so much setting my whole face i love using this maybelline um master by face studio wear boosting setting spray and this stuff is amazing sorry you guys i'm like really sweaty but this stuff it holds your makeup like a dream it will be on like for hours and hours and hours i love it and you have how much you have 3.4 fluid ounces in here and you have a ton and it's from the drugstore so sorry if a lot of these things are from the drugstore you guys but that's why that's what i have the most in my collection so yeah <laughs> so that is it you guys for my ride or die makeup products i hope that you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what are your ride or die makeup products um i will be more than happy to see your videos from this so i tag all of you love you so much you guys hopefully you have an amazing saturday see ya